Here with more on the state of the retail industry in the UK is Bloomberg opinion writer covering the consumer and retail industries, Andrea Felstead in London. Thanks for joining us. It's good to see you this morning or this afternoon, I should say. What caused these collapses? Uh, was it the recent store closures due to COVID or, or has it been a, a long time coming just because of the shift from in-store to online that we've seen play out in recent years? Well, the coronavirus closures of the stores in the UK um, was definitely the final nail in the coffin. But both of these businesses had been suffering for many years. Um, Arcadia, which owns Topshop, many years ago Topshop was the place to be. You would go there on a Saturday afternoon for the hottest fashions. It was really exciting. Over the intervening years, it's faced many competitors from Primark, which is very cheap, very cheap, doesn't even sell online, and the digital retailers such as ASOS and Boohoo, who've just become incredible competitors in that young fashion space. Yeah, so, so talk a little bit about the institutions that could be lost here. For, for people outside of the UK, what it means to, to lose stores such as these. Well, I mean, Debenhams is a department store. You know, you may have gone there when you were younger to get, you know, clothes and things like that. But the big one really is Arcadia. Mm. Anyone who's my age in the UK knows Topshop. You know, it was a really exciting place. Then other stores like Dorothy Perkins, Burton, Miss Selfridge. These were all sort of part of our youth. We would go there for, you know, the hottest looks in the 80s, the 90s. Um, you know, they were the ASOS of their day. Um, they, you know, Topshop, it had Kate Moss at the height of her, her fame. When she launched her fashion collection, she appeared in the shop window and there were crowds. So, I mean, this was really part of, you know, anyone who's a little bit older, who used to buy lots of fashion, will know these brands and will be, will be sad to uh, see their demise. One thing that we've been talking a lot about on Quick Take is, and we've seen play out during the pandemic, has been the acceleration of trends that were, we thought, years in the making, but somehow turned into months in the making because of the pandemic. Do you think that this would have been the fate of these huge stores, these big chains, had the coronavirus pandemic not hit? Or, or, or could they have been saved? It was a case for both of them, you know, of when, not if. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the pandemic, everyone being locked down, it really accelerated that shift to online shopping. And sadly, neither the Arcadia brands nor Debenhams was as well positioned in the digital market as some of their rivals. So explain what insolvency means, because here in the U.S., we, we hear a lot about bankruptcy and, and companies can continue to operate when they're in bankruptcy. And just because a company goes bankrupt doesn't necessarily mean it's going away. Uh, what in this case ends up happening to these brands, to these companies? Well, the, the Arcadia brands are, are in what's called a trading administration. It's a bit like your Chapter 11. They continue trading while, um, you know, buyers are found. Debenhams is, is closing its doors for good. Um, with the Arcadia brands, there will still be a lot of interest in Topshop. It, you know, it may be a, a slightly tarnished brand, but it's still a brand name. Um, Boohoo, um, one of the, uh, the leading online retailers that's bought a lot of brands this year, that's going to be in the market likely for Topshop. Um, Mike Ashley's uh, Fraser's Group also acquired lots of brands, again, likely to be interested in Topshop. Um, the others, there may be some interest, you know, perhaps from, you know, Next or Marks and Spencers for perhaps the slightly older brands, Dorothy Perkins, Wallace. Um, I think it's very unlikely that these brands will disappear altogether. Some may, but it's likely they live on in some way. It's probably likely they will all end end up with very, very few, much fewer stores than they have at the moment. Bloomberg Opinions, Andrea Felstead in London. It's always great to see you. Thanks so much for your time today. We appreciate it. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.